Hey, D. Hey, monkey, what's up? Can you do me a little favor? Go to my place at lunch and give Sprinkles her medicine? Sure. I have to visit the Alki. Check to see if she's faking. If a car hit me, it wouldn't crack my pelvis. You know what? I bet she cracked it at home. Jumped in front of the car to get some workers' comp. I wouldn't put it past her. So what do you need me to do? I wrote it out. Mm -hmm. There's a diabetes shot. Roll the insulin in your hands. Don't shake it. She gets an ACE inhibitor with her meal. You have to put her right in front of the dish or she won't see it because of the cataracts. Mix one capsule of omega fatty acid in with her kidney medicine. Um, and you want to give that to her 15 minutes after she's eaten. And, oh, there's a fungal cream because she has this infection under her tail. So you're going to have to lift her tail and put the cream right at the base of her tail. Hey. Hey, monkey. Any problems? Well, you left the TV on and your cat is dead. What? Sparkles, the white one, is dead. Sprinkles. That was the sick one, right? Uh -huh. Dead. <laughs> like a just a dead cat. So hey, come on. Don't be sad. Just okay? Just she's in a better place. Alright. Actually, the place that she's in is the freezer. Because of the odor. <laughs> hey Angela. Hey, um, Sorry about your cat. <laughs> this is Sprinkles. She was my best friend. I kept her going through countless ailments. I asked Dwight Schrute to feed her once, and she is now deceased. <sighs> this is Halloween last year. Just a couple of kittens out on the town. Psst. I'm having relationship problems. And since you're always having relationship problems, I thought you'd be able to give me some advice. What's wrong? I have this crazy thought that I know is crazy that maybe Dwight killed my cat. Hmm. When I got home, Sprinkle's body was in the freezer where Dwight said he left her. But all my bags of frozen french fries had been clawed to shreds. Oh. Something's not right. The vet's doing an autopsy. Angela, I'm sorry. Did Roy ever kill one of your cats? I'm more of a dog person. How you feeling, better? No. Well, you look cute as a button. You worked up quite a sweat. The vet is removing all of Sprinkle's organs right now and sending them to the lab. I am a farmer, Angela. What does that mean? Okay, when a farmer sees an animal that is in pain, that has no quality of life, that has no utility, a farmer does what city folk don't have the stomach to do. You did kill her! I, 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 I sang her her favorite songs. You put her in my freezer. It was beautiful and gentle and respectful. I fed her antihistamines and she gradually fell asleep. Well, then she barfed them up in the freezer and tried to get out. Well, I'm not responsible for that. Yes. Hey! Ow! It's okay. It's nothing. I'm robbing her. It's, it's nothing. nothing. It's fine. What? How could you do that without telling me? I thought I was helping you. I expected a hug. I took care of that cat the best way I knew how. Cat heaven is a beautiful place. But you don't get there if you're euthanized. I know a great taxidermist. I'll pay to have her stuffed. Well, he's not great, but he's pretty good. You don't understand. Take back my seriously, don't get bit. Or we can have her buried out at the East Field by mother. Huh, Angela? Don't touch me, Dwight. <laughs> 